Hey, welcome to another episode of The Early and Tia Show. So listen, we got a hot one for you today. So as you all know, we posted a viral video of a young lady all the way from the UK who went viral <laughs> for saying... Women need to fix their attitudes. Men don't care about them BBLs. They don't care about them eyelashes. They don't care about the makeup. All they care about is the uh, the attitude. That's right. And so um, it's gotten a lot of heated conversation going, especially from the women. And so we wanted to play this clip and talk to her about it. Let's play it. So actually, she is joining us. She is. She she is just, Tia just said it. We're going to actually talk to the young lady who is all the way in the UK, Known who Auntie has Jenny. went viral. Auntie Jenny. She's there by Auntie now. But listen, <laughs> we're going to play that clip, and then we'll be right back. About The men don't care about the big old lips. Yes, they do. And the, no, they do it. The women are doing that for themselves. The men don't care about it. The men mm. would rather a woman change her stinking attitude and all that makeup and hair and everything. That's what the men want. But the women will go out there like, oh, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change that. What's the woman going to do? Go and do it. Get a BBL. Get her lips done. Put on her makeup. Put on her hair. <laughs> and stay the big old fat person that she is and say, oh, it's body positivity. The men don't even want that. And um, The women <laughs> are not getting all this cosmetic surgery for the men. She's They're right. getting it for themselves. <laughs> You can't turn around. What man wants a woman that's going to turn around, go and have an operation and can't sit on a plane because her ass has been injected or been interfered with? she got to lie there on her stomach. You know, I worried about some of the men because they must go out with a woman. Ooh. And then when they wake up in the morning, they think, who the hell is she? The scars, By the time you take fish. everything off, women need to change their attitudes before they change their makeup. I'm sure that it, even more than that, change your attitude. Because women have got there and they want to change mm. this, they want to change that. All the things that don't count. If you learn to, the same way how women can go out there and learn to put makeup on, learn to cook. So look, listen. This video has went viral. Shout out to Spiritual Word for posting the video. But look, without further ado, we are going to bring the young lady who has caused all of this disruption in our household. <laughs> and pretty sure a lot of other households... Again, it's going to be a little delay because she is. And where are you at? Where are you at in, in the UK? I'm mean, I'm in I'm in London at the moment. London, okay. London. All right, so let's talk about this. Uh, you started a little bit of a controversy in our household because I, I'll be honest with you, Aunt Jenny, I disagree with a little bit of what you said. Not everything, but a little bit. You you can chime in. So listen, I, Auntie ones. Jenny, I agree with a hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> Everything you said, I agree with. Listen, I went so far as to tell all the women they need to change their stinking attitudes because I agree with you. But tell us, um, just in a brief description, what made you come to this conclusion that men don't care about BBLs, men don't care about makeup, all we care about is the attitudes? What she actually said before, we were talking about, you know, the things that you change. And the young lady says, oh, but women change all the time. You know, women are changing for the men. 90% of plastic surgery is done by women. That's what she said before I said that. And I thought, no, I, no, the men don't like that. All the big old lips. And I thought, no, I don't know one man who's got a woman that says that. Normally it's single women. Normally single women do all that. Mm. But so there's I nothing thought... worse than a man, you know, saying that he's getting... And it has to wait for a woman to put all of her makeup and her hair on. So one of the things that you said... The men said, hate waiting. I know we have a little bit of delay, but one of the things you said was you think that women are getting the plastic surgery for themselves. They're getting it for their own personal reasons and for other women. Um, but here's where I have a little bit of an issue with it, okay? Just hear me out on this. So I was saying that I agree with that. I actually agree with that statement. But I think that one of the things that is always interesting is when a man usually cheats on his woman, he cheats with the person that has the BBL. He cheats with the person that has the big lips, that has the fake hair, that has the makeup. So does attitude really matter that much in the scheme of things? Yeah, because if she has the right attitude, then she wouldn't change it and the man won't be sleeping with her. The men will <laughs> always sleep with women that look like that, but they will never sleep with women that look like that. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I totally agree with you. And that's what I said. I, I said that I feel like women don't never look at the why. They always look at the man if they cheat, but they never look at the why. Why is a man cheating? The attitude. Am I right? It's very rare that a man cheats with someone that's better than his partner. 
Mm. That's very interesting. Whoa, say that again. It's very rare that a man cheats with someone that is better than his partner. Wow. But here's the question then, Aunt, Aunt Jenny. So in your mind and in your opinion, do you think looks really matter in a relationship then? Because if the butt doesn't matter, if the lips doesn't matter, if the hair doesn't matter, if the makeup doesn't matter, then what's the attraction? What are men then really attracted to initially? If you initially, they will be attracted by how you look initially. But if you've got a woman that looks, there's some really gorgeous women out there with natural hair. You know, I'm not saying that a bit of um, a bit of eyelash conditioner because you've already got black eyelashes, so there's no reason. Mm -hmm. A bit of conditioner, a bit of lip gloss, a bit of blusher, and natural hair that's well looked after. The men love that. Which, you know what, I have to give it to you because we have a debate in our household all the time that he doesn't like extensions. I love extensions. I love to wear my extensions, but he doesn't like it. He likes natural hair. I love putting on makeup. Um, not all the time. Like today, I don't have on any makeup, but most of the time I like putting on makeup. He doesn't like that. And I'm like, why do you want me natural all the time? So, I mean, what you're saying does have a valid point. It, it does. But here is another part that I have a question for you about. You said, learn how to cook, learn how to wash. Why don't we put those same expectations on men? We have evolved a little bit in this century. Why don't we put that same expectation that men should learn how to cook too and learn how to maybe wash most, a load of clothes? You'd be surprised, most men do. Most men do. My son started when he was three years old. Most men do learn how to cook. Most men do know how to wash. And I've realized that with me traditionally, the reason why I said wash by hand, because no underwear should be in the dirty clothes basket. Mm. When, you, when you take it off, you wash it straight away. I was raised that when you take it off, you wash it. And you hang it out. No proper woman in, in my culture, the way I was raised, that if you saw dirty underwear, in a clothes basket, the woman's nasty. Wow. Because there should be no dirty underwear. And that's why when I hear people say, don't learn to wash by hand, you should always wash your underwear once you take it off, men and women. And you know what? I wash my hands. So I, I you know, I can get with what you're saying. Um, do you think that though, as times have evolved, right? You know, women work, women have multiple children, Women have a husband, they have a household to run. Do you think that some of that is a little unrealistic? Like, are we talking about this as an everyday thing that you're washing and cooking every single day? Because for some women, you work in 10 hours a day, you got kids, you got a husband, that may be a little bit unrealistic. What's your response to that? No, nah, nah, that's just, that's just excuses. That's just excuses. <laughs> Get on, T. <laughs> I was a single parent. And I fostered children at one point, I had three children as a single parent and I worked. Nowadays, you've got rice cooker, you've got air fryers. There's no reason why. And when you cook, you don't cook for one day, you cook for two days. So there's no excuse. And cooking don't take a long time. You chop, I've just passed, I've just come from my, my old man's house, he's not well. And I think I was in there for half an hour. In that half an hour, I cooked a chicken curry and rice. And I said to make sure you eat, and I left. And it didn't take long. I already had the chicken seasoned up. And I find that women need to think ahead. When you buy the meat fresh, you want you wash it, you season it, and then you freeze it. So that when you've taken out, it's already seasoned. So if you're going to work, you take it out to defrost, and when you come back, it's defrosted. Air fryer, rice cooker. You got the microwave to steam vegetables. What's the excuse? You don't wash clothes by hand. You got washing machine there. So you've got washing machine and dryer. So when a woman says, I remember once I said to my man, he goes, what have you been doing? I said, oh, I've been busy. I've been washing all day and cooking all day and I've been baking. He said, yeah, right. You've got the Kenwood chef. He goes, you don't wash clothes. The washing machine does. Okay. And when you've got a rice, you don't have to, you don't have to wash the rice. I, I remember working a night shift and I used to put my meat in a slow cooker before I went to work. And when I got home, I put the rice cooker on 15 minutes, meal's done. So there's no excuse. It's just laziness. I'm not saying the men shouldn't play their part, 
But I'm just saying all these excuses, all these that will oh, I have to do this. Oh, woe is me. I have to do that. That's a load of rubbish. It's just excuses. And they've got all the mod cons. I agree with you. And I do think that in this culture right now, something about this era right now, everybody's focused on the looks, how they look, and everything else is, is secondary or even sometimes further down the road than that. What do you think the man's role is or should be? To lead and to support the woman. To lead the household and support. A real man, if a woman don't feel like cooking, or she's too tired or she can't, you know, can't be bothered. A real man will cook. Mm. Wow. Let me ask Who's you. Necessary? A real man can cook. Let me ask you something, Auntie. So I heard you say about the BBLs that the women are doing that for themselves. So what are your thoughts on BBLs, cosmetic surgery, makeup, eyelashes? Like I heard you say that you're more into like the natural. Can you explain a little bit more of that? I think if it's medical, I mean, I knew a girl and she had an extra large chest and it was, her, it was, it was curving her spine. So she had, a, she had um, surgery. That's different. If it's medical, I can understand. If it's not medical, hit the gym. <laughs> I haven't got an ass. I am the natural person going. And my man looked at me the other day and he said, oh, your ass looks a bit up there, looks a bit firm. I said, yeah, I've been trying to do squats and trying to do exercises. I didn't think, oh, I've got, I remember somebody said to me, you have a nice ass for a white woman. And then I looked around and I realized all the white women got bigger asses than me anyway. So, no, I think if it's for medical purposes, yes. But there's always a natural way around it, a natural way. Wow. Can, Auntie Jenny, I ain't trying, you know, I know it's in, improper to ask a woman her age, but are you in I'm your 50s? 55. How old? I'm 55. 55. 55. I was 55 last night. You look so, good. so I'm going to tell you why Tia is asking your age, okay? Because Tia is under the impression that the older a woman is, the more a woman feels that what you're saying is correct. She feels like the younger generations, that this is a new era that basically some of the old school practices don't matter anymore. What do you think about that? I think they do matter. It's just that the old people are not telling them. And the mm -hmm. old people are not aware of all this this red pill, blue pill, purple pill, whatever pill, the color it is at the time. People my I just fell into it by accident. I've only been doing it since my own podcast since September. So I fell into it by accident just because I was listening to Jess Purdy things and I thought, what a load of rubbish. Don't the women get it? And then she said, you know, anybody wants to pop down. And I just happened to be in London at the time and I went on and that was it. Here I am. Auntie Jenny, anybody that's watching right now that wants to follow you on social media, that wants to hear more from you, where can they follow you, follow you at? YouTube. And what's your Auntie name? Jenny. Auntie Jenny, but with a Y. Okay. Because well, listen. English, but with an IE. Because I've well, got my own Instagram, Auntie Jenny, or Jenny Auntie, with an IE. And TikTok, it's Auntie Jenny UK. Okay. So, we, first of all, we thank you for joining us. Is there any final words? Final words? Final, final words, words of encouragement the to the ladies. And, and the fellas. And the fellas. Mixed with people. Mixed with children and pensioners. Talk to children and pensioners, and you'll always get the truth. If you need advice, ask somebody in the, who's a pensioner or somebody retired. Don't ask your friends. Ask, some, ask the people that are old for advice. Wow. I think that's some good advice, actually. That's some great advice. All right, Auntie Jenny, it was a pleasure talking to you. We appreciate you, and we look Thank forward you. to hearing more from you, educating these girls. Thank you, you know so much. Me. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. So, hey, like, share, subscribe, and make sure you follow our YouTube page, Early Tia. You can also follow us on Instagram, Early and Tia, and on TikTok, Early and Tia, and on Facebook, Early and Tia. Hey, comment. Let us know what you think. Is Auntie Jenny right?
All right, y'all. We appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. It's another episode of the Early Tea Show. And we will be back. Stay up. Never down. You got it.